Hey everybody, welcome to a little NBA Jam. This is on the Sega Genesis. Uh, I'm going to do a couple videos on this game. I thought I'd go through some of my Sega games. Uh, I just recorded this off the TV, so uh, excuse the quality. Uh, but here's what... When you start the game up, you can play head-to-head, uh, -head, team games. There's the uh, options here. Uh, timer speed is how fast the, uh, the clock goes. Uh, so in this, for the sake of videos, I'm going to make it play on 4. Uh, it's all the normal difficulty level on 3. But I think tag mode means that you can switch players. So I'll turn that on and then computer assistance off so that way uh, I can switch my players. And then you can change your... Uh, controls here, and you can play at four players if you, if you had the uh, ability to. And the cool thing about this game is you could uh, enter initials to, uh, to save the game here, so make a new person here. Uh, and what scares about one of these old games is all the the teams are completely different and the logos are different as well. And uh, I don't think any of these players are actually ever, are playing anymore. A lot of the teams are are kind of unbalanced. A lot of the guys. A lot of the players are good, like he's Malone's good at dunking but nothing else. Denver Nuggets there, I don't think they're around anymore. The Hornets are pretty good, look at that. That's, I never really follow basketball that much, so. Let's see, I don't know. For this one, maybe I'll be... Let's see, let's see. Good. The Knicks are good. I don't, I don't like the Knicks that much. Though. Maybe I'll be, the, I'll be the Pistons, I guess. They're pretty good at three-pointers. You always play the Mavericks, so they're... So you can tell what the best teams are, is whichever one's in last. <laughs> and my guy's really small here. And it's pretty much an arcade basketball game. And uh, it's great because you don't really have... The controls are simple. And you can just play a few games and then uh, put it down for a while. And... One thing I think is kind of funny is that they have the license and they can have the players in the game, but they don't have the logos on the uniforms. I always didn't like that part of the game. Some of the colors don't match either. Like, I'm. Uh, my team here is like white and blue, but uh, when you think of the, the Pistons, you think of red and blue, so. From My team isn't really set up for dunks, but if you dunk a certain amount, or I think you get to a certain point amount, then you can, uh, From down to you can, uh, smash the backboard, which is a really amazing thing. I looked up the game genie codes for it, and it, it doesn't look like you can turn that on. I wish that would be a, a fun thing to always have on, so each basket would, uh, would shatter the backboard. So this strategy is working pretty good, just shooting a lot of threes with this guy. I don't think Isaiah Thomas shot that many three pointers, but maybe, I was, maybe I'm wrong. Uh, a lot of the end of the quarters, the, they always get those last minute shots, it seems like. They always give you these little tips, which is pretty interesting. It helps out if you're playing the game for the first few times. And 
and you can either uh, you can steal the ball normally, or if you use the turbo, uh, then you can kind of shove them down, which which I pretty much use all the time. But trying to steal it regularly doesn't seem like it, it works that well. Most of the time in the game, you're just holding down the turbo, anyways. I had this on the the Super Nintendo when I was growing up. Um, I had the Terminator Terminator edition, so I'm more familiar with that one. But the uh, the Genesis controller works better because uh, the button layout is easier to hold the uh, have turbo in the middle. And then your shoot and uh, steal buttons are easier to get to. Because I remember that was kind of awkward in the Super Nintendo. Yeah, I do remember that you play the other teams, and uh, the only thing that changes on the stadiums is just the paint there, the, the team colors change. That was kind of a disappointment. I don't know about the arcade, but. It doesn't add much, much variety to the game. I always like that halftime report, that kind of fake full motion video they have going. It's always the same, uh, same images too, though, which is kind of disappointing. <laughs> I thought they would have cheerleaders or something, but I guess they don't do that. A uh, good thing for shooting three pointers is if they're tri chasing you and just trying to chase them off. Uh, seems like it works most of the time, but. He's on fire! It might look more muddy than uh, usual, but the uh, the backgrounds in the in the Genesis version here are really muddy. There's a lot of purples and blues, and it doesn't look very lively. There's no movement. Everything is really generic. When it moves, it almost kind of looks like it's just a giant, like, uh, abstract painting or something. And then the view on the court I always thought was a little bit weird. Kind of hard to tell depth. We I mean, don't really have to aim, it's just more timing. Intercepted! From downtown rap, the rebound! And your goal is just to beat all the 27 teams. And then after that, I think you unlock the turbo mode, if you recall. Uh, if you don't beat the team, then you get to play them again, so... I think Blitz games are kind of like that, too. Oh, this is one of those sports games that's still fun to play now. Um, but if you have a friend to play, the game is completely different in almost every way. That goes pretty much true about all the Midway sports games. Oh, that one almost went in. And they play on the harder difficulty level. They're, it's like beating the computer is really kind of hard because they really do the same things on offense. They usually stop and try to pass it to their teammate. And it's really hard to stop them without, you know, just shoving them. Which is kind of what the real NBA does now. So. The defensive move looks like some kind of coin to disco move. The 
players kind of look like they have bobbleheads. I, I know in the arcade one, I think it was like NBA Showtime, they had really exaggerated heads. So I think that's what they're kind of going for. A lot of the players don't really look that different. Like, like my head looks like that. The two guys that are guarding me almost. The nail in the coffin. So I won that first game by uh, ten points, which is good. A lot of times, uh, or for me at least, I always come down to the wire. He's like a couple points, but. Uh, did good there. It's cool. It, keeps, it gives us some stats, too. That was a good uh, aspect of the game. And after you play, it saves your score and your record, which is a really fun thing. This is back in the old days. So that's the first game, and uh, I'll probably do another one here.